And just because I want to make sure that the bottom and top layer are in sync with each other, I'm just going to do this manually. It's probably a smarter way. You could probably nest it and like, you know, if there was like a zillion letters, but since there's only so few letters, I'm just going to do it manually because to be honest, I'm just, um, I'm just lazy. So let's face it. I'm just a lazy guy. All right, that's these ones. I'm just copying the key. So what I've done is I've just gone, selected those and with uh with the left click and select them as a box and then edit copy and then what i'm doing is i'm selecting these by holding the command button and then pressing uh edit paste and that just pastes the information if you bring up you it brings up the keyframes you can see it's actually pasted the the information where i've wanted it to so as you can see here it's a yeah that's the noise you would that's the sound effect you would want if you were like, all right, cool. Anyway, whatever. Let's get going. Okay, so that's so far so good. So this is the Tron Legacy. Let's call this Tron Legacy text. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more fun. Okay, so we've got the text. Now let's bring this into another comment. I'm going to switch this to 16 because you know what? It's just cool that way. Now, we're just going to bring this in again. And as you would, in an Andrew Kramer S style, we're going to flip it. So I've just duplicated it and I'm gonna flip it. Flip it real good. Actually, I shouldn't go that one. I usually just take off the scale. So I press S for scale and then minus it. And there we go. We've got this reflection going, which is dead easy to do. And not only that, we are going to sort of do one of these Jimmy Jimmies. What's a Jimmy Jimmy? I don't know. It's not really important this tutorial we just need to understand that you need to make a reflection don't ask why do you ask such questions and um, i'm just going to drop the opacity just a little bit so it's not going to be t it's just a subtle effect you know just so you can see that there is a reflection now from before we had a um a cloud background that we wanted to use so let's use this cloud background i chose this one because i thought it was quite nice now there's no real reason why I used it. I just thought it looked cool. Now I'm going to mask it out a little bit. Um, I might actually move it up because I actually think that could be the lower part of it could be a bit better. Yes, it looks a bit nicer. And let's see. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to feather the top of it. So, so you can see here, I'm just going to pull going to feather the top of this a little bit yeah and just bring in the expansion just a little bit now I'm also going to dramatically you know bring down the uh, exposure of this because it's quite it's supposed to be quite dark you know it's like it's not supposed to be that much and I might even bring down the hue and saturation because quite frankly at night time you don't really see much color um, Okay, and the curves. I'm just going to put a curves on this and just. Whoa, so everything's just gone. And I'll just pull the. Yeah, just make it a bit more. Uh, it's probably not the best example. I did it better before, but anyway, you get the basic idea. <laughs> this is not exactly what I thought it was going to be, but you know. Yeah, you do what you got. I'm just trying to make it a, so you can see the clouds a bit better. Truth is, I'm just doing a real rubbish job at the color correction here. Anyway, so you get those moving clouds in the background. I got that from Andrew Kramer's stock stuff. Um, Andrew Kramer's um, stock stuff, uh, Real Clouds, which is, you know, it's had around for a while, but, you know, I guess you wouldn't really know about them otherwise. Um, that's, you know, the basic crux of it. Now, this is where we get into the more interesting things. So, Tron Legacy Text 2. Oops, I brought up something I shouldn't have brought up. Here we go. I'm going to pull this into this again. Now, we've done this effect a few times, actually. Let me just go back here. Now, I'm going to put an adjustment layer on this. Um... I'm just going to turn this off so you can see what I'm doing. I turned that off. It just means that you can see the layer as a solid. It's just easy for me to work in. Um, I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so we can all see. But 
Okay. I'm just going to feather it. Uh, and there we go. So you can see where it's going to be affected. I'm going to turn on the adjustment again by just turning that on. And I'm also going to put on a radial blur, which, you know, there are a few ways to do it, but I just like to use the the built-in radial blur that's in After Effects, which is fine. Normally you get a spin. I want to zoom. It's not very easy to see, but it is definitely there. So just trust me on that one. It's probably a little bit too much. Oh, no, I'll probably give it a bit more. Yeah, how about that? That's good. All right. And um, I might even give this another adjustment layer. So I'm just going to delete that effect, delete that. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Delete that mask. That's over everything. And um, see, that's what the radial, but it's not there. That's not the uh, desired effect. I'm also going to put on, to get that TV look, Venetian blinds is quite a nice effect. Um, so what we can do is maybe bring this down to about 10. And you see the Venetian blinds are... Kind of it's still too big. I might make this about five. Maybe two. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I know you can't really see it, but you can see the grid lines coming, looking out very computer gamey at the moment, which is really what we want. It's that kind of look we're looking for. Okay, and um. Now the Tron Legacy text itself isn't really looking all that smashing. We might actually try and put on, I'm gonna put on a um, light sweep effect on it. I was thinking about this the other day and see if this kind of gives it a little bit more of a shimmy. Yeah, so you put the light sweep on here is where it starts and we're just going to animate it a little bit. So um, let's just start the center keyframe there and as it does, it would just sort of slowly pan across like that, which is kind of cool. So we kind of have a look at it. This is what it'll kind of look like. Now as well, let's throw on a little bit of a glow because after all, who doesn't love a good glow? And um, we'll just bring the glow threshold down a little bit. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. And the radius up just a teensy bit. Yeah, it looks a bit more Tron-like. What do you think? Um, all right, now so that's so far so good. Let's bring this in for the final kind of treatment. I'm, I'm not going to do the optical light flare unless you really, really want me to. But actually, you know, I'll figure out another way. Because that was done with Andrew Kramer's light flares, which is really great. But the truth is, like, you're not going to, not everybody has that. But and that's a pretty easy thing. I'll let you guys figure that out. If you've got the light flare thing, you'll probably love it. I just threw, I just threw this on. I just made another, I just pulled that, this text into another comp. Because you'll see why in a second. Um, I'm doing the same thing that I did with the assassination of Bruno, shift channel, uh, I'm going to pull out the the blue and the reds. Oh, sorry, the blue and the green. And I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to make this, turn this off, make this green. And I'm going to turn this off and make this blue on. Oh, blue. And what we're going to do is we're going to screen these. Uh, no, you can't see this. Sorry. There's all these modes. We're going to make it screen. And I'm going to offset these off by just a little bit. Just so that gives you a little bit more of a bad TV look. I know it's really hard to see, but it's there. Now there's a lot more you can definitely add to make this more Tron-like. But for the moment, I hope this kind of gives you a fairly decent idea of what, you know, I'm kind of thinking of, um, you know, it's it's at least a good start. I think this gives you some idea of what what is kind of required to make this this kind of look work. Um, 
Oh, that makes sense. Let me see if I can render this so you can kind of see a little bit of what's happening here. Oops, no, oops, oops. Here we go. It's rendering and So there you go, that's kind of what we're looking for. Uh, now there's a whole lot of other things you can probably add to it as well. Um, you know, I added a little bit of orange to kind of give it a bit more of a, a different look. I mean, that could definitely come in here. You could go, okay, I'll make a solid. And um, usually what I do is make it black. We'll call this lens flare. And we'll add in a uh, lens flare. Oops, if I can spell, that'd be great. Um, and I'll change this to that 105 prime. Should put the curves on it just to give it a bit more something special. Uh, I'll make it more red. And I'll take the blues down so it's a bit more yellow. Now it's not great on its own really, but uh, that's what we got. So. I changed the transfer mode to add as well. So it's a, it could be a little bit more orange actually. So let's try and add more orange into it. Okay. Let's uh, move this to the side here. It's not the, it's not exactly the Andrew Kramer flair I think you were hoping for, but you know, it's, it's something. Um, where does the, it's around the three second mark, isn't it? That's where we ended the animation. So what we can do is animate the flare. So as well, let's make the brightness come up a bit. Uh, we'll just make it, just give it a little bit of animation. It's not really, it's just a cheap trick to be honest. I think the Andrew Kramer stuff looks way nicer, but this is just the basic idea. It's not really bright. I want it to be a little bit brighter than that. Yeah, it's a bit cooler. Put it beneath everything so everything looks a bit more seamless. And we'll put a bit of a wiggle expression on the flare. So maybe wiggle 0.3 and then maybe about, I don't know, 5 will do. I think it's pretty good. It's under wiggle. Ridiculously, maybe a bit more than 0.5, maybe one. Yeah, anyway, so bringing this in, kind of see what it, this is. Yeah, this could be offset a little bit more actually. I think let me make this a bit more extreme. Yeah, and make this by three, maybe five. Looks a lot more extreme. There you go, you have those. It's a, it's a lot more extreme now. Um, let's have a look at this one more time, just so you can kind of get the idea. All right, well, I hope that's been helpful. Um, again, you know, this is not exactly what I created the f in the other one that you saw, but it gives you a basic idea of what, you know, what you can kind of create in this kind of thing. Um, anyway, I hope that's been helpful. Oh, you know, I, did, I forgot one more thing, and this is what I generally do everything I do, put another adjustment layer on. Just to kind of really give it a bit of a real kick, I usually try to adjust the curves a bit more just to make it a little bit more sexy. And um, just to give it a bit more colors in different areas, I just wanted to kind of make it a little bit cooler. You can even make it a bit more green if you want to, but I don't actually like it to be too green. That's all right. So make it a bit more blue. Okay, anyway, so just so you can see the difference, that was before, this is after. Uh, there's probably too much blue in it now. I probably should take the green out too, but I think where it's sitting now is looking quite nice. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. If you guys want to read up more, check out the blog at nitku.com. Um, and I'll probably have a tutorial on this in motion as well. So stand by for that. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been really fun. It's three o'clock in the morning. I probably should go to bed, but um, thanks for listening. See ya.